Hello everyone, Cubicle Productions here, and I'm reviewing the new features that Nexus has to offer in their new server system, Nexus V2. We'll get started right away. Nexus V2 delivers an improved gaming experience using a brand new system coded by Turkmelon over the past several months. This system includes some key features. All games offer an improved experience by using a new Game API plugin. This plugin acts as the brain for every minigame on the network, with each individual minigame plugin operating off of the Game API. Nexus V2 also features a new anti-cheat system, affectionately called the Power Move Regulator. It is designed to better track player movements and automatically detect hacking, such as fast regen, aimbot, and other things. Nexus V2 is entirely rewritten from Nexus V1, the current Nexus, working from the ground up to create a fluid, fast, and fun gaming experience. The hub is an entirely new construction made by Team Ambitia. It includes a central floating island surrounded by several smaller satellite islands, each containing a minigame. The hub includes a new joining system that allows you to keep track of games with a live feed simply by clicking on the compass in your inventory. Donators can also switch hubs to meet up with new players or friends and hang out in their lobby. In the Nexus V2 hub, all players are visible by default and individuals can toggle this to view either all players or only staff and party members, a useful feature for those with a low power computer. Located in the hotbar is a player settings tab that allows you to toggle blood particles in-game and private chat messages. Also in your hotbar is an arsenal, which allows you to select gadgets and apparel to have fun in the lobby with other players. V2 even has an achievement system that rewards you for doing cool and unique things. Donators have an all-new feature that allow you to create parties. These parties can join games together, making group play much easier. Several shops are dispersed throughout the hub that allow you to purchase items using credits that you can earn in-game. They include pets, as well as clothing for your player. Make sure to get your Nexus swag there. <laughs> swag. Swag. swag! Sorry, had to do that one. Now that we've seen the hub for Nexus V2, let's look at the individual minigames and see their changes from V1. We'll also see some new minigames that have not been seen in Nexus before. Survival Games has one goal, survive and be the last one standing. The Nexus is most famous for its survival games. This plugin has seen heavy revision from V1 and performs almost entirely differently. You'll notice that Nexus has resurrected some of the maps from the Fridge server community, and has also kept the maps that you and your friends loved from V1 as well as added some entirely new maps. Nexus V2's new survival game system includes a lava timer for the start, a new looting system for dead players, a revamped spectator and sponsor menu to increase gameplay fluidity, and a deathmatch for the 10 second countdown. Don't worry, the bad packet glitch from V1 is gone. I, I, I hated that, I, the bad packet, I, I, I hate the bad packet, I, I hated it! Battle Dome is a team-based capture-the-flag type game in which players must work together to destroy the other team's obsidian flag and eliminate the remaining players on the opposite team. V2's Battle Dome includes enhanced terrain generation and other improved features. When you mine Diamond Ore, you instead get an Iron Block. It also features an adaptive world border that only spawns when a player approaches it. The Nexus, for the first time, has implemented a new Build My Thing minigame into Nexus V2. In this game, you must build something matching a word you are given, while other players try to guess that word. The player with the most points at the end wins. This game features two difficulty levels, one of which is selected by the builder before his turn. Hard words are more difficult to guess than easy ones, but are much more rewarding. Boast Bleef requires you to shoot arrows at a floor of TNT. Each shot will take out the portion of the floor where it hits. Choose your kit wisely, find your footing, then bob and weave as the arrows come flying in.
Battle Race is a take on a classic parkour race where you must run the course. Be quick though, because the ground is falling out as you run ahead of it. So there you have it. That's Nexus V2 so far. Stay tuned for more coming from the Nexus team. I've been Cubicle Productions, and I'll see you on the next V2 video. Thank you.